Hello friends, this is God. And in between doing my outside projects, I need to get the inside ready to go for some furniture so that we can actually use this place this year. So we have the mad spring rush outside and I have the mad spring rush here, at least in the front room and the dining room to get this ready to go because we need to bring ta a kitchen table down here and some other miscellaneous furniture that needs to come down soon. So as you see here, uh, when you're putting baseboards in, you don't have to be exact. And I'll, I'll prove that at the end here. <laughs> With all my, my cuts aren't the greatest cuts in the world. The joints there are not the, uh, the tightest, but uh, there's, there's magic that can fix all these uh, little boo-boos and make it look good. As you can see, those cuts are not, yeah, they are not perfect by any means. But a little sandpaper, a little drywall putty, and a little caulking, and, uh, and paint. And uh, this place will look pretty sharp, I believe. So see a little water damage on, on uh, some of these boards. Again, these, some of these were, were hand-me-downs from my, my older son that remodeled his house, and, and it got a little bit wet outside. Uh, so there's a little bit, but I try to use them anyway, just to, I don't want to waste them. Uh, I'll use what I could, and then I threw away the rest. Uh, but you see all those holes there? I still need to get some longer nails because that board was a little warped, and I didn't have long enough nails for my nail gun. So uh, we'll, we'll get it up at least uh, <laughs> so it looks semi-decent, and then we'll finish it up later. But... Yeah, this is as far as I got on the uh, on the trim work, and this is pretty much where I need to finish up so that I can uh, get back outside. And that's where the where all the effort's going to be for the next little while. But I do need to make this livable uh, just so we can we can use the place. I'll be coming down and, and finishing the rest of the house with with more edging and baseboard. But who knows when that'll be? That'll be after the 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 rush of the summer planting season, and uh, once I get all those plants in and. I can then, you know, maybe in the evenings get in here and get some more work done. But, you know, I, this is as far as I got, for, you know, through the winter. Uh, so I did pretty good. I, I, I reached most of my goals. There's a space. I've got to see how the caulking uh, will make that look at the, at the end. There's a lot of gap there. So, but this is as far as I got. So I was pretty pleased with my progress. And then I thought I was ahead of the game and uh, I've run out of time. So... <laughs> So it's time. I've got to get this done today. And again, this was it. You know, I was working on this in the evenings, the last trip down, and just to get her done. So first thing I did was taped everything, and I didn't want to get any paint because I have to repaint. So I did the floor also. You don't really need to paint where you're going to caulk, but I went ahead and did it anyway, just to to make it clean. So that took a little bit of time, but I wanted to to make it look good. If you see the front door there, where all the paints kind of peeled off on the bottom, uh, I had painted that door fresh, but. I have a dog with uh, separation anxiety, and all he does is want to dig out when we're <laughs> not there or when we're coming home, he's freaking out. So he's already scratched all the paint off that side of the door. So, yeah, he does that at our house in Salt Lake also. So just have to fix that again. But So the first step was just doing a lot of taping. And, uh, and then I took the drywall putty, and I puttied up all the holes, and I sanded it down. And then I took some paint and painted a couple coats of paint around it and uh, let's see how it looks when I'm when I'm done with that so here we go there it looks it looks pretty good except the guy in the in the you can see his reflection there but like I say a little drywall patch sandpaper a little caulking and paint and it looks pretty sharp and we do have a couch now and a lamp so as well as the two house plants that we have here. So we have a lime plant and a, and a fern that was uh, left by the previous owner. So still need to get vent covers uh, for the floor. So I don't want people stepping in those. So I'll be running to grab those real quick. But we're ready to bring some furniture down here. And uh, I've got some several trips to go. And, and I brought firewood the last trip down. I just, you know, I should have been bringing furniture. But I need to get the, you know, there's orders of priorities based on other people's needs. And I need to get that firewood down here. So... But here's the, uh, here's the molding up to this point, and uh, the baseboards, and they look pretty good. So the place is livable. Again, we've got alloy covers to paint, and we've got more, again, a lot more molding and trim to do, but I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. But at least now we can bring some furniture down. We can uh, you know, share the place a little bit with other people and enjoy it. So we're looking forward to it. So anyway, quick video just to show you the progress. I am still working on the inside and this might be all I do for a little while until uh, on the inside anyway. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.